Hello, my name is Ryan Boyd, and I'm going to show you how to install Neo4j 2.3 on Mac OS X. You visit neo4j.com slash download, and then you're given the option of the two different editions, Enterprise and Community. We're going to go with Community for now, but if you need the full Enterprise features, such as HA and clustering, you'll want to download the Enterprise Edition. Now the download has started, and while we're downloading, we have the opportunity of getting our free copy of the O'Reilly Graph Databases book. This is a PDF and EPUB edition of the book that you can get, and it's a great read to understand how graph databases work and how they fit into the ecosystem of databases out there. Now it has been downloaded, and we're going to open up the DMG file here drag the Neo4j Community Edition over to our Applications folder, and then from within the Applications folder, we can find the Neo4j 2.3 Community and get it up and running. Now we see the launcher, which allows us to select the database directory. We're going to use the default blank database, and we're going to get started with Neo4j right away. This then gives us a URL which represents the Neo4j browser on my local installation. I'm going to enter in the default password of Neo4j here, and then reset the password. And now I'm all ready to use Neo4j and jump into some code. Now we're going to go to the movie graph, and in the movie graph we're going to run some queries, but first we've got to insert some data into Neo4j. This uses the Cypher query language, which is Neo4j's language for querying and also updating and creating data in our graph. Now I'm going to show you another query here, which is finding the movie Cloud Atlas. And if we double click on Cloud Atlas, we see all the actors and directors of the movie. Now let's run another query here and we're going to list all of Tom Hanks's movies. And this gives us the ability to see the Neo4j data first as a graph, but then we can switch over to a tabular format and see the data that way as well, which may be helpful for some types of queries. Now let's perform a much more graphy query. We want to find the Bacon path, or the shortest path, between Kevin Bacon and Meg Ryan. When we run that query using the Neo4j Shortest Path algorithm, we can see that Kevin Bacon acted in Apollo 13, which Tom Hanks also acted in, and then Tom Hanks shared a movie with Meg Ryan. Well, that's it. Now you know how to install and get started with Neo4j 2.3 on Mac OS X.